Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a girl, Krista TV. Breaking news. Chidima Adesina, who represented Taraba State, has been crowned Miss Universe Nigeria 2024. <laughs> now, South African people will be like, what is wrong with Nigeria? Now, this lady, we all know her story about how she was rejected um, to contest in South Africa. So as a result of that, we all know that when it comes to Nigerian stuff, South Africa doesn't accept it, even to football and so many things. I don't know the type of hatred that South Africans has towards Nigerians. So this young lady was crowned the Miss Universe. Oh my goodness, Miss Universe of Nigeria. But well, this one, I did not understand that this lady, her name is Chidi Mima, but she's representing Taraba State. Taraba State is a northern state for crying out loud. I don't understand. I don't understand actually what is happening. Chidima at this, her name is even confusing for crying out loud. How can you be answering Chidima and still be answering at this? At this, now is not an evil name for crying out loud. Madam, which, where exactly are you from? Which part of Nigeria do you come from? Who are your people? Who are your parents for crying out loud? I don't understand. You claim you are a Nigerian, but this is just your first time of coming to Nigeria. Huh. Now, listen to people's comments. <laughs> This comment not be here. Oh. Now better bus bus now people they comment about this particular chidi mother to one the Miss Nigeria. <laughs> one guy known as Abi one guy known as Choma said this was more than a beauty pig um pagant consulting for us. <laughs> Protecting the image of Nigeria was more important than the crown. To all other beautiful contestants, letting Chidima win was the best sacrifice. Do you know why I like this comment? This is because of the beef between Nigerians and South Africans. That this reason why Chidima was allowed to win this contest and this particular contestant does not mean that she's the most perfect person there. But because of the squabble between Nigerians and South Africa. So they decided to shame South Africans. Okay, now. And that person known as Ihana Cho said the right thing to do would have been contest next year. Chidima has never visited Nigeria and knows nothing about the country. She's representing, she's represent totally wrong. I can imagine how other girls feel being snubbed like this. She should have waited. Hey, <laughs> what do you guys have to say concerning this? This person said that why didn't this girl wait till next year? Why did she come back to contest for this year? Since this this now her first time of coming into Nigeria. <laughs> Don't be smart, you know. Nigeria, they just made her dream come through. Dear South Africa, your loss. Whenever it comes to Nigeria against another country, Nigerians will put tribalism aside and get it done. Said by Nelly Precious. China no better. Don't be smart in my country, people. Oh. Nelly Precious now said everything. Nelly Precious now said this one. I'm going to do you agree with this girl's comments? Comments full ground. Don't be smart in my country, people. Oh. Maybe continue. From Benjamin Uyono Kaidne, he said, This is completely unacceptable. Why give it to someone who does not know anything about the country she's representing? It is a pity. Why you people? Eh, hey. Come and see comment on that. I'm gonna be smart in my country, people. Boss was full on last. Many Nigerians are not happy about this. I'm um, winning for me from Chidima with certain reasons, which I am reading out for you. Tell us in the comment section if you um you are in line with the people that are you know not happy for this um contesting of a thing, or are you in support of Chidima's winning this particular um universe of Nigeria? Okay, Ray Peter say. People have been working hard for this, and now they have handed the award to a reject. Why didn't she compete for Miss Nigeria in the first place? Say whatever you like, but this is bullshit because I don't know what they are trying to prove here. Miss Nigeria that didn't even grow up with our culture. Nigeria and pandering to people that see us as a second option are like five and six. Now, I agree with this particular person, Repita, because this girl... According to the news, according to how we've been saying it, according to all going viral news, she was giving birth to in you know in South Africa since then. Imagine how old she is now. The parent didn't even deem it necessary to bring her back to Nigeria. They decided to still you know relax in South Africa just like that until she started to contest for South Africa in South Africa and she got disqualified. Nigeria started to brought her home. Why bring it somebody that doesn't love you? Eh? I don't understand though. Nigeria they pursue him. I mean Nigeria they pinch him for 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 nyash. 
Say she no fit come Nigeria call Sudan, but she fit come to just come and be Miss 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 Universe. Why now? Nah? <laughs> so now tell us if you agree with this repeater. Kezien Noel say the pen went straight to South Africa after all their votes for Miss Kwara. <laughs> this is another person say this is pure political correctness and politics. I guess they used it to compensate her for the humiliation that was meted by South Africans. They gave her the crown as a gesture and symbol of solidarity and consolidation and to show South Africans that a rejected stone is now the chief cornerstone. <laughs> that is to say, South Africans, Nigerians don't leave their own behind. Omo, you can't put cry, you emoji cry, you. Not be smart in my country, people. Tell us in the comment section what is your opinion? What do you have to say concerning this? Anyway, congratulations to Miss Nigeria Chidima Adestina representing Taraba State. Anyway, we will still come back to ask her which country, uh, which state exactly is she from? Don't forget to subscribe.